welcome back to the Wind Waker HD. In this episode, we're going to explore a pirate ship. Uh, not much is going to take place. It's about a six minute video, maybe. But uh, it's a good little bridge episode in between what happened last uh, in the last episode here on Outset Island and before we get into the Forsaken Fortress. This is another little tutorial sort of area that teaches Link's, Link some of the finer points of swinging and jumping. Not really skills that we use a lot of in this game, especially the swing. We use it in the Forsaken Fortress for a little bit and not too much afterwards. So it's a, kind of a weird little segment that they're actually taking time out of the game to teach us these skills. But anyways, uh, Nico the Pirate here is kind of like the guy that nobody likes. He's the creep that they keep in the basement. He is the guy from the Goonies that's all locked away and likes the baby roofs. But we're going to play with him a little bit because everybody needs some baby roof every now and then. So the point of this room is to simply jump from, I guess, lantern to lantern, swinging, swinging bits of rope. Try not to burn yourself, otherwise game over, Link dies, Ganon has been revived, ha ha ha. And that's pretty much the theme of it. Um, it took this, uh, took this Goonie more than a year to figure out how to swing from rope to rope. Hopefully we're not quite so baby roofy, so let's go ahead and just press down these to get a reset on the timer. And then press this one down again to start things off, so it's really easy. Now, um, the hardest part about this is just being quick enough. The f first time you really don't have to worry about all that time all that much because you get a lot of time and it's the beginner one. So um, I'm lining myself up. You have plenty of time to line yourself up. Make sure you're doing it right. And also the hardest part is if you get too much speed, you will just fly over the platform. So what I tend to do is I uh, swing through um, the, I go swing once, then back, and then I kind of jump as I'm almost through the middle of the um, second swing, heading towards the next platform. And I generally will get there. Lots of times I just barely make the jump, but it's fine. Um, so anyways, yeah, that was a really simple piece of cake. It took me uh, 30 seconds, it took um, Goonie here one year, so I get extra baby roofs tonight. Anyways, um, with that, we are going to get ourselves a prize. What can it be? Nico, come on. Baby roof! That's not what we're going to get. Um, <laughs> let's see what we get. It better be something awesome and worth my time of 30 seconds in making this video. Yeah, a little bag that holds up to eight items, different kinds of items. So that's cool, I guess. Um, I don't know why he has that. I guess he just steals so much swag. Being a pirate that they keep their own special purple Halloween themed um, goodie bag. But anyways, now that we have that taken care of, we're going to just return to the top of the deck where we're going to flirt with some of the pirates a little bit. I just felt the need to zoom in on his face. I don't know why. <laughs> I was having a good time with this. But um, we're going to climb up here. And once we climb up this overly necessarily, over necessarily tall ladder, we are going to, this is the second one in this game, the first was to Errol's Outlook, now this one. After this, it's going to be nothing but a cutscene, so that's going to conclude this episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD on the Hidden Triforce. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned, to the next episode we're going to explore Forsaken Fortress and try and rescue our little sister Errol. So stay tuned for that because it will be a great time. Bye everybody.